Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Margarita and in today's video, I am so excited because finally, I will be filming this Chanel Holiday 2022 collection plus I added the Valentino Holiday 2022 collection. So it will be a Chanel and Valentino Holiday 2022. I was able to pick up two of these Chanel Tweed gift sets. I picked up this luminizer, oversized luminizer, and this eyeshadow quad. I'm so excited for these two giant Chanel fragrances in body oil and body gel. I have the Valentino Eye the Cheek makeup in shade Coral. And you guys, I have this Valentino Lutrios and this Valentino Russell Limited Edition Studded Lipstick. We will do swatches, makeup looks, and review. If you want to see how I created this so holiday look, keep on watching. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Margarita. Thank you for watching. In this channel, I talk everything about beauty and makeup. If you like this kind of video and find it helpful in the end, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It will really help my channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. And if you subscribe, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. All the products that I will mention for today's video will be link on the description box below for your convenience to shop okay before we start with this video i just want to put something on my lips <laughs> i will start with this lipstick product from chanel it's the coco bloom in shade chance just to hydrate my lips and at the same time it has a slight plumping effect i will start this chanel and valentino holiday 2022 by starting with this valentino makeup eye to cheek this is how the box look like. It's limited edition. This is the packaging outside. And what's inside is a beautiful print of Valentino. This is in shade Coral. The packaging is so pretty, you guys. And it's $58. Since this is blush and eye makeup, I will use it as blush and eyeshadow. Here's the swatches. I want to use it in my eyes first and I want to use this mirror here. I took uh, the sticker. <laughs> Let's see how beautiful it is on your eyes. I think I pick up so much. <laughs> but it's nice though. Wow. Okay, so I blend it. It looks nice. It gives me a hint of color when you blend it. 
I think this formula is better to use your finger. Yeah, this type of formula, your finger is the best. I will just do the same with the other eye. And now I want to use it as a blush. I will use this Tom Ford brush. Fix up a lot. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's pigmented, very pigmented. Holy smokes. <laughs> Okay, Valentino. Hold on, I need to <laughs> blend. It blends beautifully. It is definitely has a lot of illuminating factor, like as if it is a blush topper. I think this is for me, if I will use it, I will use it as a blush topper instead of a blush because of its consistency it's very thick okay so this is how it looks like you see it's very glowy great eyeshadow i don't like it as a blush but i will use it as a blush topper so much for this valentino so what i will do is i will take off this makeup and i will go to the chanel luminizer okay now we will go to this chanel oversized illuminating face powder this is how the box looks like. It's limited edition. It's in shade OR Rose. And this is how the palette looks like. It's gigantic, okay? <laughs> Here's the swatches. This is $88. 18 months shop life. Made in Italy. This is the reason why I keep on buying Chanel limited edition makeup because their presentation is really 10 out of 10 aesthetically it's a lot of highlighter or illuminizer or whatever it is so let's try it on my light to medium skin tone just like what i mentioned earlier i took out that blush because i really want to see how this looks like alone on my complexion since this is so huge i will use this as my mirror okay i will use this a23 anastasia beverly hills highlighter brush that's how it picks up in the brush okay just for reference this is the oversized illuminating powder this is 88 dollars and this is my favorite highlighter from chanel is the camellia highlighter it's limited edition you can't buy this anymore this is 80 dollars this just for the comparison of the sizes. Now I will swatch them side by side so you will see the difference. Okay guys, so this is the comparison swatches. The one on top is the new Chanel Oversized Illuminating Face Powder in all on rose. And the one on the bottom is the Camellia Highlighter that I like. This oversized illuminizer or highlighter is too dark for my light medium complexion. It's pretty, but for a highlighter, I prefer a shade that is like the camellia so for me i won't use this as a highlighter i will use it as a blush topper <laughs> speaking of that since i want to use it as a blush topper i will just put a blush on top of it i want to see how it will look like i will just use this blush from comet collection in shade coral it's all it I will just blend it with this Scott Bars number 68. I like it this way. Mix it with the blush. You saw in the demo how it works on me. I find it too dark as a highlighter, but I will use this as a blush topper because it really looks great when you mix it with a blush. Okay, let's move on to the eyeshadow. And I picked up this limited edition Ombre de Lune. This is how the box looks like. And this is how the eyeshadow looks like. When I saw it in person, the first time I opened it, I am so happy to see it. Because the gold just screams holiday. I love it that they put a gold topper on this eyeshadow. It makes this eyeshadow holiday -ish. this is how it looks like on my fingers and here's the swatches as you can see in the swatches the two top shades is in satin the brown shade is in soft velvet it's not a completely matte shadow 
and the gold is the topper which makes me excited because it screams holiday to me if you love Chanel eyeshadows you will love this color sorry because it's like so basic but at the same time it's so glam because of that gold it's so basic that you can use those three shades and use this as your everyday eyeshadow if you want to amp it up a little bit or be glam just put the gold topper on top the beautiful embossing of chanel number no. five in gold topper is done <laughs> so enjoy the prints take a lot of pictures and videos if you got it because after you use it it's done okay i know you've seen a lot of videos using this eyeshadow that's why I want to change it a little bit. I will make it a little bit dramatic by putting black eyeliner first and I'll go from there. I will use this Pat McGrath Extreme Black. You don't need to be precise because I'm going to smudge it anyway. Okay, I will stop from there and then I will use this brown. I will use the sponge applicator that is in the palette. This applicator is good for placement of eyeshadow, but it's not good in blending. So I will just put it to connect this black eyeliner. And now I will blend it. I will use the shade. In fairness, you guys, these eyeshadows are so creamy <laughs> and so easy to blend with. Chanel eyeshadow formula is really improved. She's nice. And now what I want to do is the most exciting part, the gold. I will use this gold shade on my crease. Here's the fun part. Oh my goodness. Wow, <laughs> if this eye makeup doesn't scream holiday to you, I don't know what to tell you, but this gold on top of that black liner and that brown shade is so beautiful for holiday. I'll just use this shade, this dark brown, for my lower lash line. I'm using this Dior number 24. Okay, so this is the final look for this eye. I will just do the same with my other eye and I'll be back. Okay, so this is the final look. Literally, I did my makeup in two minutes. This eyeshadow quad is so easy to use and this gold topper is definitely a better version of a topper eyeshadow from Chanel. I'll just put liner and lashes and i'll be back okay guys so this is the final look with lashes and liner it really makes a difference i'm so happy with this how they look this eyeshadow i love it okay before we go to own lipstick that i picked up for this holiday collection i want to try all the lip gloss in this gift set that i picked up this is how the bag looks like it's so pretty you guys for those who were able to grab it when it was out it is really a treat from chanel it's called chanel gift set lip trios it's it's retail for 100 and one dollars with three lip gloss inside this is how, how it looks like inside some people put a hole here and put a chain and it becomes their Chanel bag. Why not? Maybe I'll do the same. <laughs> it's so pretty. These are all the three lip gloss inside the bag. These three lip glosses are available on Chanel website. You can buy them individually. 
This one is 712 melted honey. This one is 722. And this one is 119. I will try all of them. And I will take this Rouge Coco Bloom on my lips. And I will start putting this on. By the way, side note, Chanel lipsticks and Chanel lip gloss are one of the best makeup products from the brand. So I will start with this Melted Honey. It has a shimmering gold inside which really complements this eye makeup look. This is how it looks like. The next one that I will try is 722. Chanel Lip Gloss 722. And now we will try the last shade 119. This is my favorite wearing alone. Chanel Lip Gloss 119. Now I don't want to take this out. <laughs> but I will because I will try the lipstick that I picked up from this holiday 2020 collection. This is the Rouge Allure Lex Track. This is $55. 80 months shelf life. This is how it looks like. Here's the swatches. By the way, I love the packaging of this. This is the skinny one. You need to press it. And this is how it looks like. Now I will take off this favorite lip gloss of mine, 119, and I will put this on. This is Cream's Holiday. This entire makeup look, this red lipstick changed everything. Now I'm ready for a party. This is Chanel Rouge Lure Extract Shade 817. This is my first time trying this formula. It's so nice, you guys. It's $55 with less product, but I think I love it because I love this skinny lipstick inside it. It makes the application easier, and this is without lip liner. And with that skinny shape, I was able to shape, and I love it. Now let's see what's inside the other gift set that I was able to put my hands on. This is Chanel gift set hydration on hand. It's ninety-seven dollars. What's inside here is a hand cream that is fifty dollars, and a bougie lip balm <laughs> that is forty-two dollars. This is the hand cream, and this is the lip balm. If you will add the amount of this, what's inside is ninety-two dollars. And I paid like the seven dollars for this, so it's like this bag is only for five dollars. This is really a treat from Chanel, which I really really appreciate. I'm so happy I was able to get both colors, white and red. Anyway, this is the bougie hand cream. <laughs> this is the bougie lip balm, forty two dollars for a lip balm. Chanel. I love it though. I tried this already and this is the most moisturizing lip balm I ever tried. I will try to swatch it. See? It really moisturized your lips and it's perfect for winter time. Overall, this too with the white bag, I like it better with the red one because this is the one that I will really, really use. Especially during winter time and especially with the kind of job I have, I'm a nurse that wash my hand 1,000 times a day. So this is really a must for me. I'm glad I have them both. And the last two items that I picked up from this holiday 2022 of Chanel is, I'm not gonna lie, these two are the ones that I am really so excited. I'm talking about this huge Chanel number no. 5 body oil and Coco Mademoiselle Pearly Body Gel. It's 250 ml or 84.4 ounces. That's the box. Now for the actual product. Where I saw this that they are including these scents on this collection. I am so excited because my signature scent is this Mademoiselle Coco because my favorite perfume on Chanel is this Coco Mademoiselle. Chanel number no. 5 is of course we all know the most famous fragrance of Chanel but I find it very strong. That's why I never 
bought one. What I keep on buying is this Chanel number no. 5. This is the less potent smell of their classic Chanel number no. 5 perfume. For some reason, the original gives me headache. It's too strong for me and this one is perfect for me. When I got this, the first thing I did is put my hand and smell it. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> this is the perfect subtle scent of Chanel number no. 5 original. It smells so good and it comes in a dry oil. I will demo it. It's a dry oil. It absorbs fast and it moisturizes your skin. Perfect for winter. You have to smell this in person. No matter how I will tell you this is so intoxicating perfect subdued scent of the original channel number five it's for you to appreciate this you need to smell it in person if you have a local chanel store they carry this and it's so good this is my favorite one among all the collection and now i will demo on my other hand <laughs> this favorite scent of mine this Coco Mademoiselle. Now this is in body gel. It is less runny than the body oil. This one absorbs faster than the oil. And this one has gold specks that is shimmering. Perfect for holiday. If you don't like the look that you're glowing, maybe don't pick up this one. For comparison, this is the body gel and this is the body oil. You can see the body gel has gold specks. For me, I like it because I'm so used to that. I love Tom Ford Soleil Blanc shimmering body oil and that's the effect that I get from that. But if you're one of those that doesn't like any gold specks or shimmering like that, Chanel has a Coco Mademoiselle body oil. This is not part of their holiday collection, but I bought it anyway <laughs> because I'm more of a body oil person. It's just a box and this is how it looks like. It's transparent. For reference, that's the size, but this is how the thickness this body oil is 200 ml this body gel is 250 ml this is 80 dollars 20 dollars less than this this is 100 dollars but it's on a spray form see how convenient it is it's like a perfume it's in it's spray and oh if you like the scent of Coco Mademoiselle and you want it in a body oil, this is it. That's it for my Chanel Holiday 2020 collection. Now let's go to Valentino lipsticks. I bought these two Holiday 2022 Valentino. This Lip Trio set, which is $60. And this limited edition refillable studded Valentino Rosso lipstick, $55. We will all try them. We will start with this lipstick trio. That's how the box looks like. Very festive. And here it will tell you what's inside. It has one nude and two reds in a bag. And this is the bag inside. Oh my gosh, you guys. Speaking of luxury, this Valentino lip trios, just the bag alone is a steal. Okay, this is $60. It has three lipsticks and this bag. I will use it after as a wallet. This is so nice. This is what I am talking about when I bought that Givenchy lipstick set that I'm frustrated with the packaging. This Valentino nailed it with the packaging. This is the bag. What's inside? And here are the three mini lipsticks inside. I will take out the Chanel lipstick and we will do lipstick swatches. The first one that I will try is this 100R. It's called Roman Grace. It is described as romantic pink nude. This is how it looks like. I love the design of the bullet because even though it's minis, they put their logo on it. It makes it so luxe and I will try it on. Here's the swatches. I'm glad they put a nude pink here, so at least I have an option. It has two reds and nude. I love this lipstick because I love the formula, it's very hydrating. 
and moisturizing. This is in shade Roman Grace 100R. The next one that I will try is 22R and it is described as true natural red. This is in satin finish and this is how it looks like. Again, the bullet has their initial and here's the swatches. And I will try it on. Wow, 22R. This is so beautiful. So hydrating, so easy to use. I love this shade. Valentino 22R. And now we will try the last one, 217A. It is described as deep blood red. This is how it looks like. Again, the bullet has their logo, which is very, very cute. And here's the swatches. This is in matte finish. I will try it on. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think this is the most comfortable matte that I ever tried. This is Valentina lipsticks. This is my first time trying it. The formula is so good. It's so moisturizing even though it is in matte form. And this shade, you guys. I think this is my favorite shade. It is just so beautiful. This is Lipstick Minis 217. This is so pretty, I don't want to take it off. Okay, this, so this is it. Valentino Mini Rosso Lipstick Trio. Love this. This is a steel by Glider Can. This is limited edition. Okay, the last lipstick that I will try on is this Rosso Valentino. This is how the box looks like. Refillable studded lipstick. This is limited edition, $55. This is how the lipstick looks like. Aesthetically, 11 out of 10. Okay, Valentino, you killed it with the packaging. You killed it with the studded lipstick inside. And the best part, it's refillable. So you can use this lipstick case over and over. Speaking of elegance, <laughs> Valentino killed it <laughs> with this. Packaging, studded bullet, refillable. You can use it over and over. Buy this while you can because this is selling out fast. This is in shade 111A matte. It is described as undressed velvet. This is the swatches. You know, I'm so glad with these four Valentino lipsticks that I got. All of them has different shades. Wow. This Velvet Matte Formula Valentino is really hydrating and it's really moisturizing and it feels so good. Even with application, you know it won't dry up your lips. I love this shade. Definitely a collector's item. Grab it while you can. Okay guys, for my final thoughts, Fortune on Holiday 2022, this eyeshadow quad is a winner for me. I love it because it's so basic. You can use this palette as your everyday palette and then if you want to be glam, just like what I did today. I love this. This is the one that really screams holiday for me to be honest because this is the one that is unique non-makeup between the two although this coco mademoiselle is my signature set i highly recommend this chanel number no. five gold body oil by a backup of this because this is limited edition best gift ideas for the lip glosses that i tried 119 is my favorite because this is the one that i i can use alone and on top of a lipstick it's just a very nice mauve shade for this valentino trio lipsticks this is a steal you guys this is 90 dollars in value and this is 60 dollars these three lipsticks are all gorgeous and one factor that i highly highly recommend this one is this bag i will surely will use it because it's just so pretty it's studded of course it's fall leather but Hey, if I were to get $60 three lipsticks, Valentino with a bag, I won't pass on it. And of course, the one that I'm wearing right now, this limited edition Valentino Rosso studded refillable lipstick, 10 out of 10. Packaging, what's inside, how comfortable it is, the shade, 
This is my favorite among all that I tried today. I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about this video? What do you think about this collection? What do you think about this Chanel Holiday 2022? Is there anything here that you like? Don't forget to make comment down below. And if you like this kind of video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching you guys. See you in my next video. We love you. Bye.